get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Holder, Eiffel TV, in association with Matt Jim. I've had with me. I've got the Cinderella man, Peter McDonough. Congratulations on the win, Peter, here in Tulworth. How do you feel, mate? Yeah, very good. First, I'd like to say thanks um, to my daughter, Shannon, who sung me into the ring. Got the best applause of the night. She was absolutely excellent. How did it feel, Shannon, to get the opportunity to sing, sing your dad, Peter, into the ring? It was really good, actually. Um, but it gave me a lot of confidence and, um, yeah, just... Thank you to everyone that was helping me backstage. The main star of the show today, Shannon, is you, not Pete. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the fight, Pete. Tactics today seem to pretty much get on your bike a little bit. What control the, control the sort of the fight with a jab, a lot of movement, a lot of feints. How do you sort of think you've done? Yeah, I thought I'd done what I needed to do. Um, listen, I'm Floyd McDonough, aren't I? <laughs> you've you know got I mean? enough belts. Are you sure you've got enough belts? Of course I have. You know what I mean? I am the true Cinderella man. Do you know what I mean? Come on, Floyd, let's get it on. How do you assess it then? Man? You no, it was, you know, just um, yeah, just getting around here. Not in boxing since uh, March. Um, you know, I, I was on both Tyson Fury bills in big fights. Uh, both fell out of bed, but my manager Daniel got me this fight. You know, on the same date, and uh, obviously MGM. So, you know, just onwards and upwards from there again. Since you've signed with the MGM, coincidentally, this is your 10th win on the belt. It's picking up a good bit of momentum, getting noticed, winning fights. What, what do you want to do at this stage of your career, Pete? Um, win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah. um, nah, I just I want a big fight, James, you know? I, I just want, I, I think I deserve it. If any fighter in the country deserves it, not blowing my own trumpet, but I deserve it. You know, I've been around the block once or twice, you know what I mean? So, you know, watch Sam Eglin the other night. Um, against Frankie Gavin, what a cracking performance! But uh, I fight. think me and Sam Megleton would be a great fight, you know, because I wouldn't be taking the backward step, and I'm sure he wouldn't. Be a good fight to watch, you know. You've now almost turned around your record. You always say this point: records are for DJs; they don't matter to you. But would you like to have a, a winning record before you sort of retire from the sport? No, I don't care. I just want names on my record and, and to be top names, and that's all I want to do. And like I said, I'm no DJ; I'm a record breaker. <laughs> We've got big things coming for the MGM. So many big shows, so many big nights. Do you think there'll be room for maybe one more big, big night for yourself? Big room for more than one bit more big night than myself. I box like that, you know, and I don't get it. You know, that's, that's what boxing's about. It's about hit and not be it. You know, sometimes it can be boring for people. But listen, Floyd Mayweather's done it for 50 fights. And, you know, he's a superstar now. So that's what boxing's all about. And at the end of the day, listen, I know I've got good people behind me. I know I've got good fans. You know, I went out and gave them a little bit in the last round, but believe me, when I'm in there against a top, top, top class operator, there's no way that I'll be, get, I'll be going and having a fight with him unless I have to. But Sam Eglin, I won't take a step backwards and we'll get it on. And it'll be a great fight on Sky, Box Nation, wherever they want it, or even in my back garden. For someone who's got 10,000 numbers in their phone, you, you do sell a ticket, I've got to say. We saw a lot of people come out to support Pete in the Dollars Day, a lot of people wearing the T-shirts as well, and it's fantastic that you still drum up that level of support. Because I'm a down to earth person, James, and I, you know me. I'm, I'm just, you know, I just keep trying, at, like try and do it for my family, you know. And you know, I've got good people behind me, you know. Got my little girl Shannon, got my little girl Marnie, very naughty, <laughs> but uh, she's the security guard in the family. And uh, yeah, no, and I've got a great team behind me, so you know, I just, I just want to get a big opportunity, you know. But if I don't, I'll just keep winning. I'll keep winning, so give me the opportunity. Your punditry as well is obviously you're known for your bright shirts, you're known for sort of speaking your mind a little bit. The IFL TV interview is always doing great numbers as well. So I think after boxing we might see you on the other side of the ring, so to speak. Yeah, but James, listen, I've got other things after boxing on. I look, I can go into modelling tomorrow. You know I can, you know. <laughs> At least balaclava modelling. Crash out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan then? When can we anticipate seeing you back in action? What, what has your management said to you in terms of, of dates and stuff? I said to him, we speak after tonight. You know, I don't think beyond tonight. It proved with, um, what's his name, Saturday, same signal on Saturday. You know, he's fighting Bradley Skeet in four weeks' time, had a draw, got dropped twice in the fight. And all that, you know, 
December back here. Yeah, December maybe back here, you know, just to get back out and just keep winning and keep winning roll. Listen, I, I, I anticipate a big fight in 2017 and, and 2017 is going to be a special year for me because 17 means a big thing to me and people that know me well know what that number means and it's meant to be and I'm going to, I'm going to win a big title. I'm not going to have one big last fight, I'm going to win a big title and I'm staying around for a while. I'm staying around till I'm at least 50. Well, you've got two more years left. Thank you, Cullen. Thank you, Cullen. Message to all your friends, family, supporters before we go. Yeah, listen, you can't do this without them people, you know, and you can't, you know, it's unbelievable, you know, the, the support I get and, uh, you know, my sponsors, MGM Marbella, obviously, uh, DNG's uh, <laughs> Edward's demo, I always get that one wrong. Uh, I can't spell it, that's why. Um, uh, Les Iron Man, you know, yeah, Slancha Bar. Obviously, all my management at MGM, you know, um, anyone I've missed out, CMP, the Hilton, where I stay every weekend, looking at moving my caravan next door. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, so, yeah, no, everyone, look, everyone, and, and especially the people that come to watch me tonight, you know, and I sold loads of tickets, and it's hard earned money, you know, so I'll try and give them the best, best chance I can, and Joe Powell, Steve Ray for putting the show on, and put me on it, and, and miserable old Frank Hopkins. We'll have to get him a stair lift. We'll have to get him a stair lift, so boxing ain't, a, boxing ain't about money to me, and I, I promise you that. Like boxing on shows like this, I, I, you know, when people thought I was going out and you know going on the road, it wasn't about money for me. Do you know what I mean? I like fighting. Listen, it's the best job in the world, isn't it? Come on, get paid, have a fight, don't get a charge sheet. What a great job, you know? Listen, you're a real character, Pete. Appreciate you giving us some time as always. Well done on your win. Enjoy your moment and your success. We'll see you soon. And Last word to you, girls, before we go. Who do you want to add? Do you want to say Michelle? Um, <laughs> well, well um, just good luck to Daddy for the next few fights and thank you to everyone, especially um, the Hilton because me and Daddy have stayed in it last night and uh, yeah, just MGM and everyone that supported me as well, um, thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, James, James again mate, for you turning up tonight, I know you had a night off, you know, and I know you always, you always do come to these things but... Uh, if you didn't turn up, I was going to slap you anyway. I but, can't uh, take all the credit, Pete. Do you know what I mean? I'm nah, only one man. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. And Coogie Bear, you know what I mean? All the lot, you know, listen. The, you know, I feel like I said what you've done in the past. I know you're loaded now, but I don't know about that. Yeah, <laughs> fully loaded, but, uh, Neil. Yeah. Nah, but listen, James. Thanks for everything, mate. And you know what I mean. Thanks for following us all around, yeah. No problem, mate. Thanks for your time today, Pete. Cheers. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. Enjoy your moment. As I said, I'll catch you real soon, right? Cheers. Thank you.